I'm back. Today we are going to talk about the we're going to use the things that I have bought. So the, in my previous video we talked about or I showed you everything that I've gotten in my Ipsy and Boxer Charm that's high end and now today is everything that I've bought that I haven't received in my Ipsy or Boxy Charm. So um, the I already primed or uh, prepped my face, moisturized my face and everything. So now we're gonna go in with um, our eyes. I'm gonna prime the, my lid with the Hard Candy Eye Primer. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all my brushes. I, I did um, purchase this IT brush pack, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Peach Revolution. Um, it's called the Mini Tasty Peach Palette that I purchased. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with this. I didn't purchase these brushes. The IP, Most of the IT brushes I did and the Eco Tool ones I did, but these I don't, but I don't have good eye, eye um, brushes. So I'm going to go ahead with this transition shade. Does it have a name? No, it just says two. This like brownish shade is a transition shade. So I'm just going to put this in my crease and blend it. And do windshield wiper motions. And this, um, the Re Revolution products, I got at Ulta. Next, we're gonna go in with this orangey shade here and just kind of put that in the crease too once you wipe it, wipe your motions, but then I'm also gonna take it down on the outer V of my eye. Ooh, this is powdery and pigmented. Be careful. That's why I've been starting to do my eyes first and I've gotten a lot better at it okay oh that is so pigmented let me go in with the other brush um, that I just had and kind of try blending Ooh. let me get a clean brush okay now let's blend that in and we'll, we'll go over it um, a little bit more because yeah it's it kind of went all the way up, but we'll fix it. Let's try, you know what, let's try a halo today. I'm going to be brave. And I'm going to just put it on this side. The inner corner. And just... Try to leave some of that open for the middle. Okay. Next, I'm going to try some of this. This ooh ooh. It kind of flaked off, and I'm going to put that in the middle with my finger. And then I'll get it all blended out and hopefully it'll, at the end, it'll look a lot better. Yeah, yesterday I was going to go finally get out and about 
and uh, try going to the beach and they got there and I only had a debit card and I thought there would have been a machine because nowadays everything has a machine to pay for parking and it required cash so I said forget this I'm, I'm out of here so okay let's see we'll get back to fixing the eyes in a little bit this is a very old eyeliner from Hard Candy. I don't even know. I've had it for years. Oh, I think it's dried out. Yep, it's dried out. I can throw something away. Okay. I've had this for a very long time. This is a Maybelline eyeliner. Let's see. It looks like it's still pigmented. So let's see. But it looks like it's so thin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a line around with this. Or a wing. So we'll see. Not very pigmented. And maybe it's because it's extremely old. I've had it for years. And I forgot all about it. It was stuck in the way back. Ooh, okay, that one. It does get a little bit more pigmented. So maybe. It's amazing how some of these products, after many, many years, still are working. But I am horrible with eyeliner, as you may know, and even worse when it comes to this type of little tiny tip. I prefer the felt tips that are bigger and easier to apply. I did purchase this Urban Decay palette a long time ago, and I, it, some of it got cracked from when I, my um, being in my luggage. So I, I'm gonna go in with this Starfire shade, or no, it's called Angle Fire shade, and put that on the top of my brow. Okay. And just take this and put it underneath on my brow bone and then hopefully it'll lighten some of this mess here I forgot I had this palette I bought this a long time ago. This is like, I think the metallic palette. It comes like in this kind of case. Now I'm gonna go in with the mascara primer from Maybelline. That's very old again. I'm gonna go in with this Sky High Maybelline mascara that I I bought this off of Amazon. But I'm sure you can get it in the drugstore. I just saw it on Amazon and it's easier that way so I don't have to lug it back and forth everywhere. I just get my purchases sent to home and then I take it back with me when I back to my hotel. Now we can prime our face. I'm going with this Revolution Peach Delight Mattifying Primer. I have noticed that 
I've been using this primer quite a bit and although it kind of um, my LA colors um, color corrector it kind of peel like it'll clump and come off but that is the only the foundation and everything else it's okay it's just um, this here and I'll show you in a minute and this I bought it at Dollar General and that could be it so I don't think it's the primer I think it's this but I'm gonna use it and show you what I mean by that and you've probably seen it in other videos how it kind of like starts coming off So this was like not very much money. It was like a dollar probably. But like other character color correctors that I've used wasn't too bad. These sponges I have bought, all the real technique sponges, all my sponges actually I've bought. So See how it kind of starts peeling? I don't know if you can see that right there. But it starts like falling up. And on the sponge, you can kind of see it. Um, and I think it's just the corrector. Because nothing else I've seen kind of ball up on it. So, but I didn't notice it with any other primer either. But it's it's a dollar and I don't I think that's the color corrector. I don't think it's the primer. I'm not gonna just go in with this. I think it's Maybelline um, foundation that I got. I think this was actually my daughter's, so maybe I didn't buy this. Well, I probably did end up buying it because it's my daughter's. <laughs> I end up getting makeup and I'm like, where did I get it? I don't remember it in my boxy charm and um but I've had stuff for so long. So who knows? I might have gotten it from, you know. And the other thing I really don't like about that, I like colors, is you can't get it blended enough. And then when you do put foundation on, you can't it's hard to cover it. Even on the um, full coverage foundation, and this, I don't even know what it is, so I don't know if it's supposed to be full coverage, but, and then even when I put on the concealer, it doesn't conceal it either. It's, it's I still see a blue tint, so I will never purchase that one again. The other LA Color correctors that I got that come in a tube form and not that, glass bottle seemed to do better but it's not blue either it was like other the other colors so i don't know if it's just the blue tint or what now we're going to go in with the elf hydrating camo concealer yeah i was Debating if I wanted to get out today, out of the uh, hotel, I don't know. Maybe I'll run down to the pool. I don't know. We'll see. I just hate doing stuff by myself. Comment below if you are like me, and if you were to travel, would you be like me and not do anything, or would you? get out and about I mean even even before at my other job when um, I didn't have like a kitchen so I had to order out or I would I had to get my own food I would just order room service and yeah I got it expensive but that then I got reimbursed for my food now I don't get reimbursed for my food so but I do have a kitchen now so I just get like frozen foods and TV dinners and stuff and stock it up because 
I don't want to go out and order ordering the food would be way too expensive. Let's go in and finish the bottom of my eyes and put this orange shade on each side. And then we're going to do this brownish golden shade and just kind of finalize the halo portion. Hold on. I think with this shade, I'm going to have to go in with a brush. Because it wasn't working with my... finger very well. And actually, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. This um, gold shade. Wow, this is very bold for me. I'm going to go with this NYX um, gel liner and it's like a hopefully lighten it up a little bit more it's like a pinkish white shade okay now I'm just gonna go in with the mascara primer and then again with the Sky High Mascara. You know, being in the a uh, hotel, you see a lot of crazy things. Like me, I've had people who have fought, um, like right in the next room, and I can hear them screaming and cussing at each other and banging around. And then I've had times where my wall shakes because they're probably doing something else and banging against the wall, but it didn't so, sound like that. What's the craziest thing that you've encountered into a hotel? I've had where dogs barked and all night long and um, it's loud. Um, but what's the craziest, comment below, what the craziest Thing you have encountered in a hotel room. I've even had, I came in the room one time, my clean room, and there were two condoms sitting next to my, the, um, on, on the stand. Luckily they were in packages, but it kind of made me worried about how clean that room was. So now we're going to go in the wet and with the Wet n Wild um, contour stick, and we're just gonna contour this up. But I was like, uh, are you kidding me? Everything else looked clean, but kind of worried me that there were two, thank goodness they were unopened. Oh my gosh, if they were opened. I, and I didn't make a stink because I just left them there. I just did it because I was in this hotel for like every week I come back and I didn't want to say anything. I should have though, because that is disgusting. But what is the weirdest thing that you guys have encountered or most disgusting? I'm gonna try this brush to blend the Anastasia brush blush brush oh my gosh I can't even talk I really like how this is blending and I really like the bronzer on that what wild stick see I do so much better with the stick than, and it's not that that cream product is bad it's just I do better with a stick because then I don't know I just Seems like I get the perfect amount on that way. But I've been doing better by doing the using the brush. 
versus a sponge. Okay, I'm just, ooh, that's, that was too wet. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of blend it in with the sponge, just to kind of blend it in. Even though the, br the brush did a great job. Just gonna kind of blend that in a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. cream blush that I bought. I'm really liking this. At first, you know, I liked using the Milani stuff better because of the it was easier for me, but I kind of like this stick now too. See, practice makes perfect. Like just trying different things and practicing it. Things work out good. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet Mild Highlighting Stick. Oh, I better do it on the other side. Now as far as cream highlight, I haven't found my niche on this because I think I only have sticks and then like the one um, highlighting one that I do have that's not a stick the benefit one I don't know I don't know this gotta be I mean it's okay maybe I'm just doing it wrong I don't know let's try this side Oh, I see it though now. Okay, let's set our under eyes. I'm gonna just kind of try to smooth anything out that started creasing, and I'm gonna go in with the next dual chrome. powder and just start setting. My under eye with this. Setting my T zone with this. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the peach, Revolu the revolution in the peach setting powder, and I'm going to go ahead and bake. Oh, I should have. Never mind, I already said that. So well, let's bake a little bit with it. I don't know. And yeah, I already said with the other stuff. So let's just go in with and set my face. Oh, oh, very powdery. You don't need, <laughs> you don't need that much. Oof, duh. That was very powdery. Just going light-handed. But mine kind of got all like on there because of um, the plane ride and then my luggage. It, that's why I like the ones with the where you can like move it so it, it keeps it in there. But, oh well. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer. I have this Hula bronzer. If I can open this shade, or, and again, this is the box that it got all exploded in. So I'm gonna just kinda get down there, get my jawline, bring it down. I really like this shade on me. But I've been using that other palette just to use it up. And it's not that it's a bad bronzer, like I said yesterday, or the, you know, in my previous video. Um, it's just that it's, all the shades are kind of too dark. Okay, now I'm going to just take this brush, my Echo Tools brush. I like how it has the angle. 
and it's perfect for my nose contour. Now I'm going in with the Revolution blush um, and peach. Yeah. This is very powdery from the last time I used it. I haven't used it in a while, but no, nope, this doesn't smell like peach. The powder does. I wonder if the palette does. Because this is from Revolution too. Not really. I know some palettes do. Like, my niece has the Tarte palette. And I forget which one it is. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Oh. I love scented products. I know a lot of people don't because their face is sensitive to it. But I just love scented. I used the Profusion um, whipped, it's a whipped Globe Mousse Highlight and Sweet Whip. But if I remember right, I don't know. Let's try it. I can't remember if I liked it or not. But you know, you know what? No. I think this will be better for my inner highlight. So let's just do that. Let's put this in my inner corner. I think this will work better for this than actual highlight. Oh, oops. Even though it is flaking, so maybe it's not good for your inner eye corners or your tear ducts. Because again, you gotta be careful with the glitter because if it gets in your eye, it could cause an abrasion. And so a little tip, if you do get something in your eye, um, you want to blink and try to get it. You never want to rub and then flush your eye out um, with uh, water or saline. Don't use your fingers because um, obviously it can be um, dirty. If, if you know where it is, sometimes some people can lift the eyelid and like try to take a cotton swab and get it out, um, whether it's a Q-tip or um, whatever it could be. Uh, or you can take a cotton ball, a wet, wet cotton ball and dab it if it's like right there but you never want to use your finger and you never want to rub because you can scratch your eye and maybe get an abrasion so hopefully that was a little quick tip about your eye if you didn't already know it i'm sure most people did but i always like to give little tips if i medical tips if i know it I used to work as an occupational health nurse as well, and so I had a lot of eye injuries come in. And I know the first instinct for most people is to rub because it hurts, but you gotta just remember. And it all depends on like if it's a chemical burn or, or a chemical or what got in your eye. If it's chemical and it you and not a foreign object, you want to flush it as much as possible. Keep flushing your eye, and then obviously you may, depending if you feel like it's still bothering you, go see a a doctor. Oh, this is the Elf um, eyebrow pencil, and then I have the Elf brow tint. Yeah, I worked many years as an occupational health nurse and as a floor nurse at the hospital and that before I went into quality. And now I've been in quality for a long time. Okay, now that our eyes are done, um, I think I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild highlighter now. And this is the um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And it's like a little pinkyish shade. So I... I think I'm gonna like this better as a highlight than that Profusion one. It just seemed too glittery. It almost looked like it should be an eye topper. Maybe that's what I'll start using it as, as an eye topper. Now I'm gonna go in with this Wet Wild Multi Stick. 
and I'm gonna use this as lip liner. Then I bought these little sticks off of Amazon. It's the Aloe Soothing and Moisture. Um, I thought they were supposed to be more like change to the color of your pH, but I think it ended up being just a balm, which is fine. Yeah, I don't really see any change. Well, this is the final look of everything that I have bought outside of my Ipsy in my BoxyCharm. Um, I really do like the look. I, the halo, um, I, I need a little bit more practice on the, oh, and I have a little spot there I'll have to fix, hold on. I just took the spoolie and wiped it off, so. We got that fixed. But anyway, um, if you want to see a different video, let me know and just comment below and I will be happy to do that. So now we just need to set our, um, our base and I bought the, these um, Wet n Wild Rose uh, Primer off of Amazon and I got like three of them. It came in a package of three. So as this dries, so yeah, if you liked it, please subscribe and uh, hit the little bell so you are notified when I upload a video. And also please uh, like, like it and comment down below if you want. And I hope you and have a great day. Oh, and the last thing that I want to do is set all my peach fuzz. That's the other trick. Because I'm probably eventually going to have to shave my face. But anyway. Have a great day. Bye.